Well, we're back. Boy, that happened yesterday right about this time. Just as we start the second half. Uh, computer glitch. Software crashes. Garrett Snodgrass finishes with a right hand. Garrett's got 14 points now. Down the lane, there's Brodsky. Excuse me, Evan Kingston. Now with 17 points for the Trojans. Down the lane, there's Wyatt Cast. A little too strong. Got it back. Had it blocked. And now it's out of bounds. And it's off of York. Jake Hyman replaces Paxton Swanson. Paxton, a big force in the middle, but uh, three fouls in that first half. His time was limited, and now he comes out, and Jake Hyman is in. I mentioned there's still a couple of 6'4 guys on the floor for Platteview with Hyman and Brodsky. Brodsky, though, in a guard role, is driving shot just a little too strong, no good. He'll get a couple of free throws, though. So it is effectively... A small lineup, which probably benefits York even a little bit more. Brodsky scoreless in the first half, but already quick uh, three quick points and make it four. The lead is nine for York. They led by 11 at the break. Cast in the corner. On to the baseline for Danielson. Brady's pass, though. Tip stolen away by Brodsky. Trey leaves it for Tyler Riley. The in-rhythm three, just a little strong. Hyman with an offensive rebound. Brodsky for three. Hoffman snatches the board. Swing pass. Lucas into the lane. Nice feed for Wyatt Cast. Wyatt... Missed it once, got it back, and is fouled the second time. The foul is on Jake Hyman, his second, team's first of the half. And now Wyatt Cast, a perfect four for four from the foul line, pushes his team's lead back to 11 at 39-28. 5.15 to go. Third quarter, Hyman up top for three. Danielson in a fight, grabs the rebound. Leaves it for Lucas, a chance to run for the Dukes. Hoffman, three ball left corner. Kingston, the defensive rebound. Officials will wave off that shot attempt and call the foul on Brady Danielson. His first, team second of the half. Kingston puts up the tough 15 footer, casts the rebound. There's a three from Hoffman just off the front. No good. And the defensive rebound for Brodsky. Here come the Trojans. Brodsky quickly to the other end. Draws the foul. He'll shoot a couple. Brodsky pushing tempo. Draws the foul on Lucas. That's Jeb's second. The team's third already. Two of them have been shooting fouls for Trey Brodsky. Jake Irwin replacing Garrett Snodgrass in the York lineup. <coughs> Brodsky 
Now the officials you see conferring. Are they, I don't know if they're talking about who the foul was on. Coach Tom Brodsky for Platteview argued his point a couple of different ways. The officials talked about it twice, and nothing has changed. Both free throws, though, missing for Trey Brodsky at the line. Still an 11-point York lead. Danielson on the wing. Goes away from the screen, stops baseline, hands it to Cast, back to Brady. Lucas up top. Drifted just a little bit on that one. Cast tips it back to Danielson. Irwin trying to save it back in. And Hyman ends up with it for Platteview. Here comes Kingston. Evan, hard drive, leaning into Danielson the whole way. And they will give Evan Kingston two free throws. Second free throw short. So the game is a 10-point lead. Well, Danielson wasn't ready for that one. Now Kingston's after it. Good hustle by Lucas to get it to Danielson. Hoffman driving. Tough shot. It will fall. And one opportunity. That's one way to get your first points of the game. Evan Kingston called for the foul. His second. Team second of the half. And Hoffman's free throw converts the three-point play. Snodgrass back in, cast to the bench. 13-point lead for the Dukes is their largest lead of the contest. The wrap and drive is steal. Jeb Lucas picks it up. Only the third turnover for Platteview. Here comes Snodgrass behind the back. <laughs> no look pass off his own head, actually. And out of bounds, last touched by a Trojan. Snodgrass posting up on the block, going to work on Hyman. Double team comes and a reach in foul on Kingston, and that is now three on Evan. Still three minutes to go third quarter. This, the pace of this game is suddenly drug way down, and Sarah's about to fall asleep. It might be the dulcet tones of yours truly. I don't know. Lucas tries to go for the block, down to the block for Snodgrass, but Kingston there to knock it out of bounds. Snodgrass, tough move underneath, got it back, tries it again. Hyman, what's the call? Platteview fans want to jump ball, but they're going to get a foul on Jake. The official comes over to explain what he saw to Platteview coach Tom Brodsky. Part of the arm. I believe was the explanation there. Wide cast in. Reed Hoffman out of the Duke lineup. Snodgrass now has 16 points. Those his first two free throws of the game. 44-29. York expanding their biggest lead of the game. 
Brodsky, nice drive and the finish at the rim. Trey Brodsky might have got an earful from Dad there at halftime, right? Six points in this third quarter after he was scoreless in the first half. Lucas to Snodgrass, guarded by Hyman. Garrett goes baseline, lost it on the way up, though, picked up by Tyler Riley. Eight Duke turnovers in the game. Kingston leaning in to the corner for Riley. Tyler lost it, though. Saved back in by Snodgrass. Four Platteview turnovers in the game. Spin move, Danielson fouled by Brodsky. The third on Hyman, the fifth on Platteview. Two free throws here for Brady Danielson. So five Platteview fouls here in the second half. Four of them have been shooting fouls for York. So aggressive to the hoop again for the Dukes. Wyatt Cast hit a pair. Reed Hoffman converted a three-point play. Garrett Snodgrass hit a pair. And these are Brady Danielson's first two of the second half. And he converts both. Brady's got 17 points to lead York. And the lead back to 15. Matches the largest lead of the game for the Dukes. Kingston stops, gets it to Swanson momentarily. Now we've got a loose ball. Who's got it? Brodsky ends up with it again. Kingston, pull up. Danielson scrapping after it with Kingston. Now Brodsky, baseline. Fouled on his way up. He'll shoot a pair. Call it on Snodgrass. Garrett's second. Team's fifth. Mentioned in the pregame. Garrett Snodgrass, he's such a good, uh, good athlete, good presence, offensively and defensively. But sometimes... Teams can get after Garrett a little bit and get him into some foul trouble that he might not otherwise get into on his own as Tanner Milliken comes in. But he has stayed, uh, stayed pretty clean defensively. But plenty of time to play yet. Minute 21. Clock didn't start right away, and in fact it still hasn't. There it finally went. And we're going to have to take some time off the clock, I think. There you go. Sarah's got it right. 113 is what it should be. We'll put 115 on there. I trust you, Sarah. Danielson, spin move, up and under with the right hand. The body control, it is perhaps unmatched in Class B. Brady Danielson has 19 points to lead the Dukes, and in fact, he leads all scorers. The lead back to 15 for York. Swanson, high post, hands it back for Kingston. Evan down the lane, a lot of contact, waving off the shot. And the foul on Jake Irwin. Evan Kingston, he is relentless offensively and defensively. He will scrap after it on defense, and uh, if you are trying to guard him man-to-man, -man, boy, you will be tired at the end of that ball game because he is going constantly. And draws another foul there on Jake. It's so good. It's not just run fast to a spot. It's not just run fast off a screen. He starts and stops so well. Anticipates when you're leaning one way, he's going the other way. He's good. He's, he's real good, folks. And he's going to the free throw line for a one and one. Seven team fouls whistled against the Dukes here in the second half.
He matches Brady Danielson's 19 points. Second, no good, but an offensive rebound. And another crack at it with 40 seconds left in the third. Brodsky gets a screen from Swanson. Kingston on the wing. Comes off a screen himself in the lane. Tough shot. Spins it in and one. And that's three now on Snodgrass. The lead is 12. Kingston will try to make it 11. It was 11 at the end of the third quarter. Cast comes in, Sodgrass out. <laughs> Kingston converts the three point play. 31 seconds left, and now you got Snodgrass on the bench with three, so things get at least a little interesting for York here. Still an 11 point game. Brady Danielson is on the floor, guarded by Trey Brodsky over there in the corner. Jeb Lucas gives it to Brady Danielson. Ten seconds left, third quarter. Brady gets a screen, pops a three just off. And the rebound is put back by Sam Comacher at the buzzer. We will go to the fourth. York by 13, 50, 37 when we come back to the Duke Dome. Thanks to you that we're where we are today. We're proud to watch these communities grow because they're our communities too. Our neighbors, our friends, it's where we live. These are all our hometowns. And no matter what, the people who will continue to serve your needs with the hometown support you know and trust are just down the street. Cornerstone Bank, growing together. Start of the fourth quarter, Duke basketball. Duke 13 point lead. Garrett Snodgrass back in, missed it once, got it back, put it back in. Garrett's got 18 points in the ball game and pushes the lead to 15. So the offensive rebound by Sam Comature at the end of the quarter and the first putback for Garrett Snodgrass to start the fourth. Matches the biggest lead of the game for the Dukes. Kingston working hard on Lucas. Missed the shot though, and Reed Hoffman secures the rebound for York. The Dukes seven and one on their season. The only loss, bit of a blowout, kind of surprisingly big blowout for the Aurora Huskies. They are waving off that shot attempt there uh, by Snodgrass. Uh, but Baylor Shireman, Cade Reichert had a huge night that night here in Aurora, or here in York against Aurora that night that the Huskies won the game. and Aurora and York, of course, in the same Central Conference. So uh, perhaps a tournament meeting uh, 
there in February, or actually I should say in uh, at the end of January, and then they're in the same sub-district as well, so perhaps a sub-district meeting. So still a couple of opportunities for both teams to get a little more antiquated with it, the, each other. Wyatt Cass secures a rebound and is fouled in the backcourt. And that is going to be seven team fouls on Platteview, so a one and one bonus situation for Wyatt Cast. That foul called against Braxton Karnick. The first on Braxton, but like we said, the seventh on the Trojans. One and one for Wyatt. Wyatt has all four of his points from the free throw line today. And now he's got all five of his points at the free throw line. Offensive rebound for Snodgrass. Garrett up with left hand. He banks it home. Timeout, York. Snodgrass has 20 points. 55-37, biggest lead, 18 points in the game. 30-second timeout for York. Let's us let you know that these games today being presented by Cornerstone Bank, based here in York with several locations throughout the state, Huge supporters of what we do at Strive TV and Strive Sports. Uh, you know, an advertising partner since day one, basically, for, for Strive TV. And whatever community they're in, huge supporters of the community and especially of the school in that community as well. Cornerstone Bank, uh, huge thank you to them. Also, we must say thank you to Truck Center Companies with locations here in York, as well as the rest of Nebraska, Kansas, Iowa, I believe Missouri as well. And Region 5 Systems, as well, has come on board this year as an advertising partner with us on uh, strivesports.com. So a big thank you to them. And uh, the advertising dollars that come in for us to uh, do some Strive Sports stuff, well, it's all stuff that we can take back to a school and say, this is how we did it, and this is how you can do it as a school. Uh, that is the, uh, the whole point of Strive TV. It's not just a live streaming platform, although that's certainly a big part of it, uh, but it is all about the education for the schools, giving them a voice, showing them how they can have their own voice. And there is a bump in Evan Kingston. We'll go back to the free throw line. 22 points for Evan in the ball game so far. And the foul on Brady Danielson is his second and the ninth team foul. So the next will be a double bonus. This is a shooting shot, uh, shooting uh, free throw anyway. Left them both short. Kingston's legs, he got to be getting tired at some point. He puts a lot of miles in during the ball game. Snodgrass's three misses. Garrett got it back. Hot potato, Wyatt Cass, jumper good. Wyatt Cass with seven points, and the York lead is the largest of the game at 20. Braxton Karnick knocks down that three. He's got six points in the game. Wyatt Cass misses. Garrett Snodgrass does not. How about Garrett with six points in the quarter already and 22 for the game. Timeout taken by Platteview. We will step aside as well. The lead is 16 for the Dukes. It's thanks to you that we're where we are today. We're proud to watch these communities grow because they're our communities too. Our neighbors, our friends, it's where we live. These are all our hometowns. And no matter what, the people who will continue to serve your needs with the hometown support you know and trust are just down the street. Cornerstone Bank, growing together.
coming up after the holiday break here. York will be at home on the 3rd of January. What is that, Thursday, next Thursday? Sure. Yeah. Thursday the 3rd at home against Beatrice. Then they will be on the road to Grand Island Northwest on Saturday the 5th. And then on Tuesday the 8th, they will travel to Grand Island Central Catholic, who is 7-1 on their season. So uh, some good slated games coming up. Uh, Seward looms at the end of the regular season. Bennington will be the opponent for the York Dukes. They will go back to the um, Heartland Hoops Classic and be one of the featured teams in that. They will take on Bennington, who was uh, in the state tournament a year ago. Tough shot there from Hoffman, but an offensive rebound for Jeb Lucas. And then Wyatt Cass splits the defense. Wyatt Cass has had a nice ball game today. Pushes the lead back to 18 for the Dukes. We mentioned that Central Conference tournament where a second matchup with Aurora is possible. And then, like we said, uh, both in the same sub-district. And remember the uh, sub-state uh, method of uh, postseason play for basketball. So everybody plays a sub-state. And then uh, your eight district winners and the next eight wild cards in Class B will play on sub-state Saturday, if you will, seeded by playoff points. Those eight winners will be the eight teams that go to Lincoln for the state tournament. Jeb Lucas quickly to the rim, missed the shot, thought he got fouled. Wyatt Cass does foul. Tanner Milliken here. For Platteview, it'll be a road game to Gretna, who is a Class A team this year. That's coming up on the 4th, so next Friday. And then the following Tuesday, home games against Ashland Greenwood, and then uh, at home on the 11th against Wahoo, who is 6-2. Still on the schedule for the Platteview Trojans. Cast down the lane, fouled. One and one for wide cast, and around she falls. Sixty four forty four. Brodsky with the drive. Irwin grabbed that rebound. Nice cut by Lucas, leaves it for Irwin. Jake can finish under the rim. Twenty-two point lead is the largest lead of the game. It sure looks like the York Dukes are going to improve to eight and one on their season. And will defend their York Holiday Tournament. Sully Stain in for Platteview. Morgan Connor in for York. As Reed Hoffman comes out. Tough shot for Evan Kingston on the inbounds. Couldn't get it to go. Up top, that one's stolen away. Kick it out, Kingston fires the three. Just off the front. Karnick fouled on the way up.
Sam Kumacher into the game for York. Replaces Brady Danielson. Karnick makes both. Long pass up ahead for Sam Kilmacher. We're about to see a few different York Dukes come into the ball game. Tyler Wright is already at the score bench. Wyatt Cast has it on the block. Wyatt maneuvers his way through, throws it in the corner. That's a three from Irwin. Kilmacher with a defense or an offensive rebound. Lucas, a nice drive, kicks it out for Morgan Connor. Back to Irwin. Jake, baseline had it tipped away, though. Jake gets it back, draws the foul, hits the basket. stick to I believe they call that. Lucas and Cast exit. We mentioned Tyler Wright in. Uh, also have Andrew Clark in the game. And uh, 33 is Reed Malik. Reed is a 6'1 junior. Part of the uh, state championship golf team back in May. Evan Kingston, that shot a little strong, an offensive rebound for uh, Braden Johnson that time. And uh, Trey Brodsky gets an and one. More new Dukes in, including Noah Burke into the ball game along with uh, Matt Hagedone. The starter's job's done, 21-point lead. With a minute 20 to go here in the fourth quarter. So some fresh faces on the floor. Good cut, Malik will lay it up. The drive and the shot by Brodsky is good. And a timeout just for some subs here for Coach Tom Brodsky. And that will let York get Ben Kowalski. And I don't even have two listed on my program. Good cut by Kowalski that time, and he'll shoot a couple. Tyler Riley with the foul. Andrew Clark back into the game. So we want to say thank you in these final 30 seconds to everyone who has watched us over the last couple of days. If you're still with us, whether you're a St. Cecilia or an Elkhorn or a Plantview or a York fan, uh, thank you. The Strive community continues to grow. Tyler Riley hits that three. A couple of subs. Hagedone and Malik back in for the Dukes. But uh, the community of Strive, over 100 schools across the state of Nebraska now, which is pretty fun to say, uh, in the uh, seventh year of Strive. Uh, we started with just six in year one. York being one of those six. 
The Dukes of York, back-to-back -back holiday tournament champions. They win it 71-53 over the Platteview Trojans. Ten points for Trey Brodsky, 22 for Evan Kingston to lead the way for the Platteview Trojans. Tyler Riley had six. Braxton Karnick had eight. Jake Hyman, three. For York, Jake Irwin finishes with four. Jeb Lucas, six. Reed Hoffman, three. Wyatt Cast with 10. Brady Danielson, 19, and he didn't score in the fourth quarter. 22 for Garrett Snodgrass and two for Reed Malik and two for Sam Comacher. For Taylor Siebert, Ben Mohorn, Sarah Bruni, I am Eric Allgood. Thank you for joining us from the 2018 York Holiday Basketball Tournament. We will see you down the road. The next Strive Sports event, we go to Amherst next Saturday for all day wrestling. We hope you can join us on the Amherst Strive channel and check out some high quality wrestling out west. For tonight, though, we say thank you and good night from the Duke Dome.